Luroy's Pokemon Leaf Green Walkthrough Part 90. Alright, so we have the two rocket passwords, and now we're ready to head back to Five Island to get into the rocket warehouse. Um, I don't know if you remember, but last time we were at Five Island, we only had one password, but... Yeah, now we have both, so we can finally get into the warehouse. So anyways, um, just come over this way to the Five Isle Meadow. Now, I'm gonna spray some repels, and since I already showed you how to get through this part, um, I'm just gonna cut past all this to the warehouse, because I don't really feel like showing it. So, yeah. Alright, here we are. Now, um, you're gonna get here, and the cool thing about the passwords, I don't know if you've noticed this yet, Goldie Need Log, Yes Nat Chansey, it sounds kind of random, but they're actually, um, spelled the same backwards. So, like, Goldine backwards is Need Log, and, like, uh, Yes Nat is Chansey, like, backwards. They're palindromes, which is pretty cool. I didn't notice that for the longest time, and I thought it was completely random, but yeah, I figured that out. Anyways, this is actually the last time you're ever going to find Team Rocket in this game. And yeah, it's here in the warehouse. Now, right off the bat, you're going to see these things pointing down. So you can't get up there um, e very easily. You're going to have to kind of wander around here through this puzzle, which is actually kind of difficult, I will say. Um, right now, you can see two items on the screen. One is a pearl and one is a big pearl. So you can grab those if you want. And... Um, I don't really want to fight this trainer right here, but I guess I'll go back and try to get the item. Because it's an upgrade, um, which you can use to evolve a Porygon into a Porygon 2 if you trade it, so yeah. It's kind of worthless unless you have a Porygon though, but whatever. Anyways, I guess she doesn't want to turn around and see me, so when you get over here, um, you want to go on to the one on the left side. And spin all the way over here, and I have to wonder, like... Whose idea was it to build these stupid spinning things in here anyways? Like, wouldn't that just be so annoying for all of the rocket grunts? If they just want to walk through, they have to, like, get super dizzy, spin all around. Yeah, whatever. They have them in every game, though. So anyways, walk up here, and if you're careful, you can avoid this guy. Just like that. And, um, you want to come up to this one right here. Hey, you don't want to go all this way and then end up getting moved to the back the beginning of the building. So anyways, when you get over here, um, don't go into any more of the panel things. I'll just mess you up. Just walk straight up here, and if you're careful, you'll be able to get up here. Like that. So when you get over here, um, you can come up here and grab this item. It's TM36 Sludge Bomb, which is a really powerful poison type move. Now unfortunately, you have to wait really, really long um, towards the end of the game to get it, but it's really good um, to teach any of your poison types. I could teach it to Nido King or Victory Bell. I guess I'll teach it to Victory Bell. Um, yeah, it would have been nice to have earlier in the game, like before the Elite Four, but no, they're mean and give it to you after the Elite Four, which is kind of annoying. I don't even know if I'll ever use Victory Bell again. But yeah, it's worth teaching it anyways. Yeah, Sludge Bomb has like 90 base power. It's probably one of the most powerful poison types. So anyways, when you get over here, it doesn't matter which one you go down, just don't go on the one on the far left or you'll go way back to the beginning. And here's the first required battle, so yeah, you're actually going to have to fight this guy. And I don't know how you fight him in this tiny area, or like, right here, seriously, you're surrounded by boxes, but somehow your Pokemon can actually battle. Anyways, this is a Rocket Grunt. And he starts off with a Hypno, level 49. I think he has two Hypnos on his team, so it's actually kind of hard. Hypnos have good special defense, so obviously Starmie wasn't the best choice, but I guess I'll try to kill it anyways. Right. Ooh, Swagger, I hate that move so much! Oh, it's the worst. Anyways, as long as he doesn't heal or anything, I should be able to kill it. Meditate. It's such a pointless move on Hypno. It raises its attack, but everyone knows Hypno is like a special attacker anyways. So yeah, now it's going to die. <laughs> Alright, there we go. And um, I'm, I'm going to switch over to uh, Persian this time, because Persian has Shadow Ball, which is super effective. But hopefully it doesn't get killed, because its defenses aren't that great. Anyways, let's go ahead and use that. Yeah, unfortunately, Psychics are pretty hard to kill in this game because, um, 
Ghost is physical, and most of the ghost types are special attackers and stuff like that, so yeah. Actually, there is only one ghost type you can get, and that's Ghastly, and that is a special attacker. And there's Swagger, which I hate. It raises your attack, which is good. Actually, it sharply raises your attack, but then it confuses you. So if you can manage to hit the opponent, it'll do more damage, but if you hit yourself, it will do a lot more damage to you. Just like that. And how do I hit myself with Shadow Ball? Shadow Ball does not even work against normal types. That's not even possible. Anyways, if I hit myself here, I'm gonna die. Of course. Wow, really? How can I kill myself with a Shadow Ball when it doesn't even work against normal types? Anyways, let's go ahead and use Victory Ball, just because I want to use Sludge Bomb. I might not get any other chances to use it, so I might as well do it now. And now you're dead. So yeah, that guy's actually kind of challenging, just because Hypnos aren't the easiest to kill. And yeah. So after that, you can spin over here. Now you're at the place we were trying to get to earlier. Remember, that's the beginning down there. So you can go ahead and talk to this lady. She's putting her faith in Giovanni. When are these people going to figure it out? G Giovanni is, like, done. He's been defeated, yet they still think they have to, like, put all their faith towards him. Anyways, the interesting thing about this trainer and the next trainer you fight, um, they're rocket admins, so they're, like, kind of, like, leader-type people. Um, now, when you look at their teams, it's very similar to... Some of the characters in the new games, Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Um, there's these new characters, Apollo and Athena. Um, and my psychic just missed. Um, whoa, Mux using Rock Tomb. That's kind of weird. Anyways, yeah, their Pokemon are very similar to the teams on, um, on Apollo and Athena's team in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. So there's this little kind of theory, I guess, that these trainers are them, those same people, but, like, earlier on. Which is pretty interesting. It makes sense. Um, but yeah, Muck, Arbok, and you'll see the next trainer, too. Um, this is supposed to be Athena, I guess, and the other person's supposed to be Apollo. And there's the move, Sludge Bomb, which I just taught to my victory ball. Now, it killed me with a critical hit. So yeah. <laughs> um, I guess I'll go to Night King and use Earthquake. So yeah, that's just a cool thing, in case you didn't know. So, Earthquake! Die, Arbok! Mwahaha! Yeah, I... What? Did my H... Oh! Arbok used Earthquake! Okay, for a second I thought I used Earthquake, and my HP just started going down. And how did you live that? Okay, oh, you're gonna use a Hyper Potion. That was just the weirdest thing. I didn't even realize that it said Arbok used Earthquake. I thought it, I was using Earthquake, then all of a sudden my HP started going down. I was so confused. Anyways, if you use er Ah, Iron Tail, and you missed. What an idiot. Could have killed me with an Earthquake, but you didn't. Ha. Huh. So yeah, now the Arbok's dead. And the last Pokemon's a Vile Plume. And I'll switch over to Charizard just to make it easy. So yeah, I guess there's no way for sure of knowing if this is Athena and Apollo, these next few trainers, but I guess it, eh, it's hard to disagree with it, I'll say that. Anyways, this thing's gonna die a painful death with an overheat. And that should finish the battle. So there we go, and her levels are actually pretty high, like 54. I mean, probably your levels are probably gonna be like high 50s or 60s, but whatever. It's kind of funny how the Rocket Admins look like just normal Team Rocket members. There's nothing special about them. Anyways, she presses a little button and then that reverses the one of the panels. So you can actually leave and go heal up. And that's what we're going to be doing now. So yeah, next time we're going to be fighting some more Rocket people here in the Rocket Warehouse. And hopefully get that Sapphire back. So stay tuned for more.